Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best slow cooker ribs. My secret for crock pot ribs has been one of the top recipes on my website for the past six years. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how I make them. To start out, we're gonna put together a quick rub. You'll need one tablespoon of smoked paprika, and then one teaspoon each of black pepper, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and ground mustard. And then stir this together real quick. And then we'll set that aside real quick while we get our ribs ready for a rub down. Today I'm using baby back ribs, but you can also use spare ribs. You wanna turn them over so that we can remove the membrane on the back. Ribs have this tough, chewy membrane on the back. While you can leave it on, it's kind of unpleasant to eat. So what you wanna do is slide your fingers in there and start loosening it up. Then once you have a good piece. It helps if you use a paper towel so you can grip it. It's a little slippery and then you can just pull it right off. And then of course toss that membrane to the side. Next we're going to take our rub, sprinkle it generously on and rub it in the ribs. And of course you'll want to be sure to do both sides. This is called a dry rub and it is an optional step but it does add a lot of flavor to our meat. Next, I'm gonna grab a slow cooker liner and place it down into my crock pot. These are BPA free and completely safe to use and they do make clean up a breeze. Of course, you don't have to use a liner, but it is super convenient. Next, you'll need some barbecue sauce and I'm gonna be using Kraft because that was the winner of our taste test. You can also use homemade. So we'll place one half rack down in here and then pour on a little bit of barbecue sauce on top, and then we'll place the other half rack on top of that. You don't want your slow cooker to be too full. We could probably fit another rack in here, but I wouldn't go over that. You'll wanna reserve about half a cup of your barbecue sauce for later. Then we'll go ahead and pop a lid on, and we'll let this cook on low for about eight hours or you can do it on high for five to six hours, but I highly recommend the low and slow cooking method when it comes to ribs. It's fall off the bone tender every single time. After eight hours, you wanna gently remove the racks from the crock pot and place them onto a baking sheet and I line mine with foil. Once again, I like to do that for easy cleanup and brush on more barbecue sauce. Now, of course, the ribs are completely edible and delicious at this point, but this last step makes all the difference, so I highly recommend not skipping it. This is what I call the secret to crock pot ribs. You wanna place the ribs directly under the broiler setting on your oven so that it's a top heat coming from above. The sauce on top will start to caramelize under that broiler setting and really give a beautiful finishing touch to these ribs. Mmm, these smell so good. That is it. We are ready to eat fall off the bone tender ribs made in the slow cooker. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.